stomp on the devil's head this morning. Yes. Oh, he's trying to steal our joy. But God is great and greatly to be praised. Great. We great. won't let a rock cry out in our place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want the spirit of the living God to saturate us and fill this place this morning. Hallelujah. So that he can do what he has said out to do for this day in our lives and in all those lives hallelujah hallelujah that are under the hearing of the word of god thank you jesus bless you lord our father all of heaven roars your name sing louder let this place erupt in praise can you hear it the sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father. All heaven. All of heaven roars. Sing louder. Let this place erupt and pray. Can you hear it? Thank God for his spirit this morning. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God, that you always have a ram in the bush. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy this morning. Hallelujah. He's not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a man. He's a God. He's not a man. He's a God of his word. Hallelujah. And he's the only God that can keep his word because his word is true. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All things are possible yeah. when we believe and all chains are breakable when we receive Yahweh you keep your promises if you said it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Lord, if you said it, if you said it, we believe it. You're not a man. You're not a man. If you said it, oh. Not a man. You'll finish what you started. God, you have never failed. And you won't start. You're present in every step. You're faithful in every heartache. God, you have never failed. And you won't start with me. Not a man. Cause the great I am is 
speaks over me. I am what I am. I am what I am. Cause the great I am speaks over, speaks over me. I am what you say I am. I am what you say I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever the Lord says, that's what I am. Hallelujah. Oh, I am what I am. Because the great I am speaks over me. I am. I am what I am. Because the great I am. Speaks over me. Speaks over me. Oh, I am. I am what you say I am. I am, I am what I am. Cause the great I am. Great I am. Speaks over me. Speaks over me. Hallelujah. 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 Receive what the great I am is speaking over your life. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm saved. Lord, I'm healed. Lord, I'm delivered. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because I am what I am. Because the great I am speaks over me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, Hallelujah. bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll have with Richard Sykes with a special music selection on today. Amen.
going to stand on your feet yeah. and put your hands together and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. your power. Thank you for protection. Every hour. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your power. Thank you for protection. Every hour. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. It's not an accident that we're here today. The Lord has watched over us. He's protected us, given us strength. And we thank the Lord for all that he is to us. Thank God for Jesus. I'm excited again on today to be in the house of the Lord, to stand before God's people and bring good news to the saints of God. Yes. I'm excited to see a new member today at church. Amen. Amen. Sister Crystal, Sister Crystal Patrick has a new member All right. that is a part of this church starting today. Yes. Amen. Amen. We thank God uh, for the Patrick's. Sister Patrick uh, delivered a, a baby. And the Lord had his hand upon it. No difficulties. And they have a nice new baby. Amen. Amen. And I'm looking forward to it. You all know I like giving certificates and blessing babies. Yes. So I'm looking forward to the time that is set up that we might ask the Lord to bless the life of this child. Amen. Amen. I'm glad for each of you who are here. Yes. And I'm glad for those who are with us by way of streaming, mm -hmm. and uh, it's good to know that there are hearts that are still willing to humble themselves, mm -hmm. come before the Lord, mm -hmm. giving him praise, yes. glory, and honor yes. that is due to his name. I thank God for Jesus. He's everything to me. Today I want to go to the Old Testament. I want, we're going to look into 2 Samuel. Yeah. Uh, verse number 5, I mean, I'm sorry, chapter number 5. And what I'll call this message is, or what I'll say, uh, this is not a title, this is my determination. Yes. Yes. I'm waiting for the breakout. All right. Yes. I'm waiting, waiting for the breakout. Yes. In the book of 2 Samuel, chapter number 5, what is written for our 
convenience. Beginning at the first verse, this is the story of David's reign as king over all Israel, his faithful service to God and to God's people. Yes. Now, in the first verse, now there, there are 25 verses in this chapter, and I need to touch some places at the beginning of this text, and I'll put emphasis on the later portion of this, this chapter. Yes. But in verse 1, it says, Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron, yes. and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Mm -hmm. They says, We're kin, folks. Also, in time past, when Saul was king over us, thou wist he that, that lead us out mm -hmm. and brought us in Israel. Yes. And the Lord said to thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt feed my people Israel. Mm -hmm. and thou shalt be captain over Israel. Yes. And what that says, all of that in that verse says, that you were able to bring us out of trouble. So you were, you were a great leader as the captain of the, the army, or the king over the army. Yes. So verse 3 says, So all the elders of Israel came to the kingdom of Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David over Israel. So he got together with them and talked it over, and it was, it was obvious that the Lord had that in mind for them. And so they anointed David king over Israel. Verse 4 said, mm -hmm. David was 30 years old when he began to reign, yes. and he reigned 40 years. Mm -hmm. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah. Seven years Seven. and six months. Yes. In Jerusalem, he reigned 30 and three years over all Israel and Judah. And Judah. Now, this was, this was a big deal. Mm -hmm. He had been called according to God's purpose mm -hmm. for his people. Yes. And the people joined in with him, and they were happy for a moment. Until things start getting better. Said the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites yeah. and inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou takest away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither, thinking David cannot come in hither. So, after he was anointed king over all of Egypt, of, uh, all of Jerusalem, the other group began to think he's getting too strong. Mm -hmm. He's got too much under his control. And we're not going to have it. And so they began to play games. They said, if you'll take all the blind people and all the lame people, it'll be all right. Well, nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, yes. and the same is the city of David. And David said on that day, whosoever getteth up to the gutters and smiteth the Jebusites, and the lame and the blind that are, are hated of David's soul. He shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, the blind and the lame shall not come into the house. Yes. So David dwelt in the, in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about 
from Mil Milo mm -hmm. and inward. And David went on and grew great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. Yes. That's key verse. The Lord God of hosts, the Lord God of the, the army, the heavens' armies, was with him. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David and cedar trees and carpenters yes. and masons, and they built David a house. Mm -hmm. David perceived that the Lord had established him king over Israel mm -hmm. and that he had exalted his kingdom for his people Israel's sake. Yes. And David took with him more concubines and wives out of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. After he had come from Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to David. Yes. And these be the names of those that were born unto him in Jerusalem. Shehemua, Sobar, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, also Elisha, and Nepgak, and Japhai, right. and Eli Elishama, mm -hmm. and Eliada, right. and Elphalet. Now, here's where I want to take emphasis, beginning at verse number 17. Yes. At verse 17, what is pointed out was that their problems on every hand. And sometimes we can handle a problem, but many times we're not able to, to do what needs to be done to solve that that is before us. Did the Philistines during the early part of his reign as king over Israel? As long as David ruled over, only over Judah, the Philistines didn't feel threatened by him. Yes. In fact, they probably considered him an ally, mm -hmm. for he was in constant battle against Saul's son and his commander, Abner. Mm -hmm. However, as soon as David was crowned king of all Israel, he became a threat to the Philistine nation. So they mobilized all their forces and they invaded Israel with the full intent of conquering the nation and capturing David. So the scripture de uh, describes two different invasions. I I'll say this before I read. I question people who pick a fight mm -hmm. and get beat up <laughs> and come back and pick another fight wow. so they can get a good whooping. Yeah. I question their sanity. <laughs> Verse 17 says, but when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek David, and David heard of it, and he went down to the hold. So now, when I read this, it reminded me of Godfather number one. When things got hot, they would go and hide out until they could figure out what was going on if there's anything they could do, and so forth and so on. And so they went and hid out. And so that's what it's saying. 
he went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephraim. Yes. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Mm -hmm. Wilt thou deliver them into mine hands? And the Lord said unto David, Go up. For I will doubtless deliver thee, yes. the Philistines, into thine hand. And David came to Baal-perazim, and David smote them there and said, The Lord hath broke, broken forth upon mine enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name of the place Belperism. Bel now, obviously the, the first invasion mm -hmm. by the Philistines was launched because they feared David's growing power yeah. and mobilizing all of their force, their forces the Philistines marched to the valley, which lay at the foot of the hill where, the, uh, where which Jerusalem sat and was less than a mile away from the city fortress. When David heard about the invasion, he went into hiding. Yeah, yeah. David sought the face of the Lord. Mm. Now, the emphasis here is for us to understand what it is that we need to do when we come to our uh, hard spots, when we come to our places of not being able to provide, not being able uh, to understand what ought to be done. We need to do what David did. David sought the face of the Lord yes. for guidance. Mm -hmm. Should he march out of the fortress and attack and evade the Philistines? Would the Lord give him victory over the enemy? The Lord answered David by commanding him to go and fight the Philistines. Yes. For he would definitely mm -hmm. be victorious mm -hmm. over the enemy. Now that sounds pretty good to me. Yes. I'll take that any day. All right. All right. If I confer with God and the Lord says, there's no problem. He said, I guarantee you, mm. if you'll do what I said, you'll be victorious yes. over your enemy. Uh -huh. yeah. So he says, obey the Lord. Yeah. David marched against the Philistines and soundly defeated mm. the invaders. Soundly. They invaded him, mm -hmm. and he whooped their tails. Yes. David gave full credit uh -huh. to the Lord, exclaiming that the Lord had enabled him to break through the enemy's line, just like turbulence, raging waters, and as a memory, as a memorial uh -huh. to the great victory given by the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord had broken out. So now that's what I'm saying. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on the breakout of the Lord. When you try things, and things that worked before don't work at this point, yes. you got to seek the face of God. Yes. When I look at the, the church society after these last three years, things that used to work, don't work no more. Not work, not work. And people can't get out of their bed on Sunday. Because mm. there's something in them that won't let them. Mm. And so the church has to be in a place where it can, can sustain itself. Yeah. And so that the word of God can still be brought forth to those who are sinners 
who are lost and dying in their sin. And so it's a challenge. The, 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 the carnal world comes after the church. And I've heard tell of them setting churches up so that they can find a chink in their armor mm -hmm. and how they can get rid of the church. Well, they're definitely fighting a losing battle. Yes, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know the magic portion. or I don't know what instant thing that will happen other than the Lord providing, the Lord taking up the cause of his people. So the Lord is going to break out. And he's proven that. He did it back then and he'll do it again. Jesus Christ, the same. Jesus Christ, the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. So the Lord broke out against the enemies and retreated from the fierce battles. The Philistines abandoned their idols. And David and his men carried them off as plunder. But note, the attempt by the Philistines to defeat Israel and capture David had not an end. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. it, they, they didn't quit even at that. Mm -hmm. So now here's the second time. Now, the second time, The Philippines launched a second invasion against David and the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Once again, speaking out in the valley, a reef for him. Again, David went before the Lord, seeking his face for guidance. Mm -hmm. But this time, the Lord not only engaged, encouraged David to fight, he actually gave David a strategy mm -hmm. to pursue and defeat. Yes. Now let me go back, and I need to touch on the first attack brought on them. When the Lord told them to go out and fight them, David had a strategy and the strategy he took was there was there was water mm -hmm. let, let me see this mm -hmm. all right The Lord instructed David not to attack his enemy head on. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, I got to back up from here. Sorry. The way they were defeated in the first battle was that David sent his men. He had a special force that he put together. And they had to be swimmers because what they did, they went up and they went through a water like a waterfall, and they came over the waterfall down into the camp of the enemy. And that's how they were defeated on the first account. Uh -huh. But then, verse 22, the Philistines came up yet again and spread themselves in the valley a reef for him. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, 
but fetch and compass behind them mm -hmm. and come up them over against the mulberry tree. The Lord says, don't give them another chance. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of them. Yes. He said, because I have a strategy that is worked out for you. And he says, When you go to attack, he said, don't do it right now. Remember, he said, don't do it yet. But here's the strategy. He said, but fetch, uh, fetch a compass behind them yeah. and come up, come up on them mm -hmm. over against the mulberry tree. Uh -huh. And let it be when thou hear the sound of of a going in the top of the mulberry tree, mm -hmm. that then thou shalt be straight at thyself. Mm -hmm. For then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. Yeah. Huh. The Lord says, I am never defeated. I am always on your side. He said, I will never let you fail as long as you are willing to depend on me. He said, let me fix whatever your problem is. He said, yes, they're mighty. He said, but I've got more power. I'm the king of kings and the lord of the lords, and whatever I say is. So he says, you just wait. Now, Understand, the way this happened for King David was he asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, you have not yeah. because you ask, ask not. Yeah. You dream of it, yeah. but you won't ask. Yeah. Mm. And what, what I, I understand is, you know, you have to humble yourself. I don't like asking people for stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, maybe, it's, maybe I'm more proud than I ought to be. <laughs> but I understand they're givers and takers. Yeah. And I want to be a giver. But I, I guess I could be a giver and a taker. And a Come taker. on, somebody. And yes, that's what, where we really stand in the presence of God. Yeah. He gives and we take. Yeah. And he uh, said, you can't have what I got unless you ask me for it. He said, humble yourself. Humble yourself in the sight of God. Pray unto the Lord. Tell the Lord, I need your help. I got to have your mercy. You got to help me in this situation. And when you humble yourself and you pray unto God, he says, I'll do it for you every time. Come on, somebody. Now, I, I just found this so amazing. He said, when you go up by the mulberry tree, yeah. <laughs> then thou shalt bestir thyself. For then shall the Lord go before thee to smite the host of the enemy. I can go with that in every situation. I'll go to war with that every time. When God has promised, he yeah. said, I guarantee you, you're going to win. Yes, you will. Obedience and victory of David. A complete conquest of the enemy from Gibeon to, to, to Gezer. Now, let, let me give you some points on this. Right now, David obeyed the Lord, doing exactly what the Lord had commanded him, yes. and the re results was complete victory and conquest of the enemy. Yes. Oh my Lord! Let me just stop there. It says, as a result of obeying God. 
and doing exactly what he commanded us to do, the result was complete victory. Yes. <laughs> they sing, I got the victory over the enemy. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have the victory over the enemy unless God gave it to you. Yes. You can't gain the victory. You don't have the wherewithal. You can't get a victory without the Lord being on your side. Yes. Re result was complete victory mm -hmm. and conquest of the enemy. David and his army pursued the enemy for over 20 miles. 20 miles. Now, the, the thing is, is that this account is not an account to glorify King David. King David was the instrument. King David depended upon the Lord. Yes, yes. When he did that, the Lord favored him. The major lesson to be learned from this point is prayer. Mm. In facing the crisis of the Philistine invasion, David prayed, asking the Lord for guidance. Come on, somebody. Yes. Now, th this, is, this is the crux of the message. I'm through preaching. I'm just going to tell you what I said. Mm -hmm. David prayed, asking the Lord for guidance. When facing the enemy... Of his life, yes. we have most wonderful resource imaginable. Mm -hmm. And that resource is that of prayer. Yes. When we pray and seek the face of the Lord, he promised to deliver us. Yes. No matter how terrifying the trial, yes. he promised to empower us to walk through the trial and conquerors and as conquerors and victors. Prayer is the resource God has given to us to lay hold on him and his delivering power. Listen to the wonderful uh, promises given by God to yeah. us. And the, some of the promises are said, ask and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. It works. Yes. This is not just some poetry. But this is the recipe for touching God. Seek, and ye shall find. Yes. Now, I think that maybe some of us are just wimps mm -hmm. because we're not happy where we are, and it's evident, it's, it's visible. We're not happy where we are, but we're not willing to do anything about it. Mm. And I, I've heard so often down through the years, it is what it is. Mm. It ain't what it is, not with Jesus. All right. Yeah. When it, when, it, when it is what it is, you need to take that to Jesus. Tell him, Lord, I need you. I've got to have you. Satan's trying to take me out. I'm not willing to quit. Lord, strengthen me. Give me that that I need to conquer myself. Scripture said, if you abide in me, and my word abide in, you. abide in you. You shall ask what you will. You, will. Yeah. you can ask what you will. You can ask anything that you want. And it shall be done unto you. Now, anything you want within God's will. I need more strength and power. Lord, give me more strength. Lord, Help me to love you more. Lord, help me to be faithful 
unto my call. Come on. Anybody praying any of that? Yes. That'll strengthen you. That'll give you total victory. Lord, I need you. My burdens seem more than I can bear. Then another scripture here I'll, I'll bring to your attention. He said, if you're not where you feel like you ought to be, yes. he said, draw nigh to God. Mm -hmm. When you draw nigh to God, he'll draw nigh to you. Mm -hmm. He said, that's the recipe. He said, cleanse your hands, yes. ye sinners, and purify your heart, yes. Yes. ye Double-minded. Yeah. The condition of the church is in a terrible shape because, as one verse said, a double-minded man is unstable yeah. in all, oh. all of his ways. Yeah. Everything he does, yeah. he has to think about whether he's going to get it right or whether he's just going to do it. Mm. Double-minded. Double -minded. You can't please God with a double mind. Mm. And I, I, I'll just go there. People don't have any concern about who they hang with. Well, they cool, you know, they, they ain't say, but they cool. If you're walking with them and they're your bestie, <laughs> you can't be besties with them and with God. That's a double mind. That won't work for God. He said, I want your full allegiance. He said, you need to choose me or leave me. Yeah. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Yeah. We just got to get down to it and, and analyze what's going on. Now, the, the, the scripture that was read for our devotion was from Psalm 91. And Psalm, in that psalm it said, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. And after I deliver him, from his trouble, no matter what the trouble was, no matter how deep he was in his trouble, when I deliver him, he said, then I'll honor him. Come on, what a, what a deal. Yeah. Somebody come and get you out of jail, then they pay you for it. Wow. Wow. He said, that's some kind of love. He said, how can you, you know, go against that? Why can't you receive that? Isaiah 58, yes. then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. He said, you got you to gotta shape up. Yes. Shape up. Shape up, and what, what they, they would say in the military, shape up or ship out. Ship up. <laughs> so now, the Lord loves his people. Yes. If you belong to Jesus, you can't do anything you want. You are bought with a price. You are bought with a price. And the buyer 
of the object has the ability to make commands of that which is purchased by them. Y'all get that? Yeah. You were a sin, you were, you were a sinner, you were in sin, and you were lost. Jesus came and rescued you. He purchased your salvation at Calvary. He bled and died for your redemption. He said, and because I've done that, you owe me. He said, I did it willingly. I did it when you had no other hope. He said, and I had mercy on you. I showed grace and mercy towards you, mm -hmm. and now you got to do it my way. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I just feel like people ought to be grateful. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. As, as I think, I, I look back and I see how uh, people have not been what they ought to be. And I, I put myself in that. I was born a sinner too. And I wanted what I wanted. And I didn't want to have to pay for it. But it came to reality one day when I heard that there'll be no sin in heaven. Yeah. God's not going to grade on the curve. Well, you didn't get it all right, but you got pretty much, well, you got more than half of it right. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you in. I'll excuse you. <laughs> eh. Wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm just kind of emoting today. If you belong to Jesus, you need to act like it. If you belong to Jesus, you need to walk right. If you belong to Jesus, you need to live right. Because God is waiting and he's willing to break out for you. He said, I'm willing, just like I did for King David, I'm willing to go ahead of you and fight your battle. He said, it's going to be a breakout. It's going to be a great one. Yeah. And you'll be excited to, to walk in victory behind my work. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I know God. I know God. He, he's proven himself. Yeah. This text proves that he can do it over and over and over again. Yeah. Every time they came to a battle, he was there. Yeah. Every time when things weren't like they ought to be, he was there to correct what was going on. So there, there's going to be a big breakout. Not for everybody. Mm -hmm. Not for everyone. The big breakout is for the children of, of the king. Yeah. I want to encourage you today, be faithful to God. Be faithful to God. Can, can, I, can I beg you? Yeah. The Lord loves you. Yeah. The Lord loves us. He loves, he loves me too. I'm not perfect. Yeah. But I know that he loves me. Yes, he does. And I know that he'll provide whatever it is for me to be perfected finally in the end. So 
I'm looking for the day. Now, Jesus is soon to come. I, I hear one person who believe it. Jesus is soon to come. And I, I just can't see what needs to happen further than what's happened at this present time before Jesus will decide to come and get his church. So I, let me encourage you yes. to think on your way. Yes. Give the Lord your heart. You give you give the Lord your heart. Everything will be right. Yes. A person's created body, soul, and spirit. Yes. And the body is where the soul lives. And spirit. When the spirit is separated from the body, mm -hmm. the body is of no consequences. That's right. And the soul doesn't even belong to you. When you die, your soul goes back to the maker. Goes back to God who gave it. And when he gets your soul back, there's accountability that comes. I'm going to sit down. Elder Ross, come on. Amen. Praise God. Come on and put your hands together for the word of God that we heard today. Somebody say, break, break out. Say, break out. Say, break out. See, it's time for a breakout. It's time for next level. I don't want to stay where I am. I've been here long enough. I've cried long enough. I complained long enough. I've been here long enough. But Bishop was trying to get us to see that it's time for a breakout. It's time for change. If you're not saved, if you haven't been baptized in his name and filled with the Holy Ghost, it's time for a breakout. If you're saved and you've been struggling in any area of your life, I messed up and I told the Lord I wasn't going to do it again and the next week, I found myself doing it again. I need a breakout. Is anybody having a struggle, a physical struggle, need healing in their body? They need a breakout. Raise your hand. Let me see. Is anybody having any, any kind of struggle in your life of any sort, and you need a breakout? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you need a miracle in your life, and I can say I need some miracles to happen in my life, and I'm believing God for a breakout. If you raise your hand for any of those things, I'm going to ask you to be bold and come down to the altar. And the ministers are going to lay hands on you. We're going to believe for a breakout. I've been doing it my way long enough. I've been living my way long enough. And it's time to give it to Jesus. This, is, this, is, this was a sobering message. It made me examine my life. Examine what I am going through. See, that was deep, deep, deep water. And God is speaking to us today. I give myself away. 
I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. See, this is a day for us to rededicate. A day to consecrate. I give myself but I cannot do it on my own. I have to go to God. Bishop said we have to go to God. We can't deliver ourselves. We can't heal ourselves. But as Bishop was, was preaching, God was saying, I want to heal some things. I want to restore some things. See, Sometimes we love to dance and shout. We love to hear a word that's going to make us shout, but we need to hear a word that's going to make us change. And that's what we heard today. Give myself away. Just come on and line up across the altar. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Say it again. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you, I give myself Now know this though. Jesus, he loves you. He's not mad at you. He's not wanting to put you in hell. But what he wants to do is to make you better. Make you better. Sister Merlin, we're going to ask you to come and pray for the people. But know that he loves you. This is a day of breakout. Say breakout. Say breakout. Say it like you mean to say breakout. Say, Lord, I want to break out. I want to be delivered in Jesus' name. I give myself. I give myself. Presenting our bodies, Lord, as living sacrifices. We lay it all on the altar, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, God. You know, God. You know. You know what each one is dealing with. God, fix their heart. Fix their mind. Give them the ability to break out. Break out. To break out. Yes. No more doing the things the same way. But God, we're breaking out. We hear you. <coughs> and Lord, we want to meet you near the mulberry bush. Hallelujah. We want to meet you where the victory is. We want to meet you there, God. Have your way in our lives. Give us the strength and the power through the Holy Ghost to obey you and to do your will. God, we thank you for victory. We're breaking out, Lord. We're breaking out. We're breaking out. We're breaking out no more the same. We're breaking out. We're breaking out. We're going to obey you, Jesus. We're going to obey you, God. Hallelujah. And thank you in advance for victory in our lives. Thank you in advance. God, we see the change. We see the chains falling. We see things that are not according to your will falling off our life. We're breaking out, Jesus. You took the shackles off of us, God so that we can serve you, so that we can live for you. And we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you that we're free to break out, God. In your name, Jesus, we thank you. 
and we praise you and we give you glory in advance. And everybody that's in agreement said amen. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. Life is not my own. To you, Jesus, to you, I belong. I belong. Oh, I, I give, give myself, myself, I give myself. He's beseeching you, brethren, by the mercies of Christ, that you present your body. Give yourself away. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. One more. I give myself away. You're peculiar. I give myself away to Jesus so he can use God bless you. Amen. going to be receiving the offering. Uh, let's receive exhortation from Minister Sorden, and then I, I have a couple announcements I'd like to make. Praise the Lord, saints. My life is not my own. To you I belong. We all belong to God. We have been bought with a price. With a price. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In order for us to be obedient, be in the mind of Christ, be like Christ, we have to be obedient to his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord continue to tell us to pay our tithes and bring our offering. It says paying tithes bring great blessing, especially in helping us better recognize the hand of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord commands us to pay tithes in return. He promised. Promised. He can't go back on his word. He said he promised us to open up a window of heaven and pour us a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Hallelujah. That's what the word of God says. Yes. And we have to stand on his word. We have to stand on his promises. He cannot go back on his word. He cannot. He's a man that cannot lie. And we have to trust God. We have to allow him to prove himself to us. In order for us to do that, we have to be obedient and bring our, pay our tithes and give our offering. That's what the Lord asks for each and every one of us in here. As the Lord has blessed us, we bless the Lord with the 10%. And on top of the 10%, we give the Lord a love offering, a love offering. Tell, showing the Lord how much we love him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we have to be obedient to the word of God. Do what the word of God said. He says, it's his word. We're not returning to him void. That it would do what it was set out to accomplish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And long as we be obedient to the word of God and does what the Lord of God tells us to do, we can't go wrong. We can't go wrong. The Lord will open up the windows of heaven and pour out us a blessing that we won't have room 
to receive. I thank you. I praise you. And if you are ready to give to the Lord. I just want to remind you that we're one body. And everybody in the body is a part of the body. This is a church that pays tithe. Amen. 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 We don't have any freeloaders. We're, we're a body, one body. Yes. Now, it's about being fair to yourself, first of all. And you, you, you know you have to be fair to the Lord because the Lord knows it all. Amen. And you have to be fair to us because we have, we have to have air conditioning in here and we, we can't find out if you're paying tithes to get your air conditioning. <laughs> If, if you're not paying tithes, you need to sit in the hot spot. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm just being a little humorous. But this is a church, and I declare by faith, this is a tithe-paying church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can't beat God giving. Yeah. All right. I just had to throw that in. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Paying tithe. Paying a church paying tithes. We pay tithes. I know this for, for a right. fact. That's right. This organization pays tithes. You know, and, and the Lord and the Lord knows who's pays what church pay tithes and what church does not pay tithes. And he knows what people pay tithes and the people that don't pay tithes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, if you don't pay your tithes, you're gonna have holes in your pocket. You can't hold on to a penny. Yeah. You robbing. put that penny in your pocket, you're gonna fall out. Hallelujah. You, you're, so, rob, you're robbing God. You're robbing him. Robbing him. Will a man rob God? <laughs> Will a man rob God? And, and the question was, how do we rob God? It's in, in tithes and in offering. Hallelujah. So be obedient to the word of God. If you want to be blessed, it's not always money for money. There are other things that you have need of in your life. Yes. Your health. Yes. Your children, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Your job, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Your vehicle, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will bless you in every area of your life. Yes. He said he will supply all of your needs yes. according to his riches and glory yes. in right. Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's the type of guy we serve. He's true to his word. He blesses in every area of our life. And if we are so faithful in paying our tithes, he'll give us some of the things we need. That we want, I meant to say. Yeah. That we want. You know, mm -hmm. that's the type of God we serve. He a fair God. So please stand with me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone, please stand with me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's raise our offering up to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name. Bless your name. Father, we thank you this morning for this offering, Lord God, that we are about to receive, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you will bless it. Multiply, Lord God. Let it continue to meet every need, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Every need that's in this church. Every need that's in our lives, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Bless us, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. You said you will open up a window to the poor house. A blessing, Lord God. That we won't have room to receive, Lord God. Hallelujah. Our cup runneth over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may come and bring your offering. Let, let me ask that not anyone leave. I, I just have to make a couple announcements. All right.